welcome back to my channel and welcome to this autumn decorate with me I do this video every year and it's one of my favorites I know it's technically not fall on the calendar yet but it feels like fall here in Seattle so I'm pulling out all my cozy decorations this is particularly exciting because this is the first time that I'm decorating our house for autumn which is so much fun First, we gotta get in the autumn spirit. Got my pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. And we have to light the ceremonial first candle. I've got the autumn one from Bath and Body Works. It smells so good, I'm so excited. Here we go. Ta-da! Here is my fall outfit of the day. This sweater is thrifted, but the tag says Urban Outfitters, so I guess it's from Urban Outfitters. These pants are from American Eagle. I believe they're still available, and I'm obsessed with them because they are incredibly stretchy, and they feel like wearing pajama pants, but they look really cute, and they're really flattering because they're like super high-waisted, and they make the booty look nice. And I'm not wearing shoes because I'm just in the house. I apologize if you can hear a baby crying. We have friends staying with us today and they're trying to put their daughter down for a nap and she's in a new place, so she's like kind of unsure. I also did some different makeup. I basically took the faux freckle filter on TikTok because that filter is like, gives me so much confidence. And what I really like about it is that it doesn't change the shape of my nose, which most filters do, because I have a little bit of a larger nose. Um, so I looked at it on my phone and then I basically use it as a guide for like where to contour and put freckles. <laughs> so I had some fun with it today. We're all ready to decorate. I'm so excited. I had Matt pull all of the boxes out of the garage. I think the first step needs to be going through these and figuring out what I actually want to put out this year and what I don't because I feel like my style has changed and I also know that at least one of these boxes is a Halloween box which I'm not gonna put up at the beginning of September. I already pulled this out. It's some wheat from Trader Joe's and a little face from the Target dollar section last year. Oh, oh that's heavy. Uh, okay, I have such a thing for these vintage blankets. I feel like my parents always had these growing up for like different holidays. So very nostalgic. I'm definitely gonna put that out somewhere. I have these metal pumpkins in three sizes. Those will go out for sure probably on our front porch. Ooh, I have a little bit of a leftover fall candle. Ooh, this is from Target. It's called Fall Day. I forgot how good that smelled. Pumpkin carving kit we don't need. This is a maybe. This like oak wall art. I'm gonna put it out just in case. I feel like this is a little chewy, so I'm not gonna put this one out this year. Gotta put out the pumpkin spoon rest. These light up ones are really cute. Those are actually from our wedding. I'll probably put those out. Metal one, orange ceramic. I'm liking all of these so far. Ooh, this is probably my single favorite piece of fall decor we have. I'm obsessed with that. So many pumpkins. Pumpkin cream cold brew. Do, 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 do. Tis the season. This is the season, I'm out here mowing the lawn, man. It's hot. Here's the biggest one of these. This is a little chuggy, but I still like it. I still think it's cute, so I'm gonna use it. Another pumpkin. Ooh, this is my favorite, favorite candle. It's the Hearth and Hand Harvest one. Cinnamon and happiness and... It's only like half burned because this is like a special occasion candle. I don't think they brought it back this year, which is so sad. Got some burlap leaves and a little harvest sign. I think this is the best box if I'm remembering correctly. I have the bunnies little uh, candy corn, so I will go and give that to them. Ooh, okay, this is the Hey There Pumpkin doormat. I made this last year or two years ago in a DIY video. I literally just painted it on there. Love that, very cute. Halloween, so I think the rest of this is all Halloween, except this wreath, which is falling apart. That's sad. Oh my gosh, this is bringing back memories because the uh, last time I saw all these Halloween decorations was the day I found out I was pregnant because it was on Halloween that I found out. This out, last couple here. Candy corn garland I would consider to be more Halloween, so I'm gonna leave that. I've got some velvet cushion covers that honestly aren't really my style anymore, so I'm gonna save those for, I don't know what, if I'll ever use them again. Oh my gosh, I painted this like years ago. This little pillowcase, but again, the dark color is just not really gonna vibe. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything in this box. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> it's very dusty and dirty. And fourth and final one, we have a plaid blanket. Doesn't really go with the neutral color scheme. We have a fall wreath. 
and some full garland it looks like. I'll keep that out. And this fall pillar candle holder that I thrifted. I think I'll use this as well. Aww. I picture baby Megan and Matt at the sunflower farm. I just realized, I don't even think I've shown this on the YouTube channel yet, only on Instagram, but I'm really excited about this. It's got a bunch of random stuff up there right now just because I wanted to see what it would look like with stuff on it. I think I'm going to start here because it'll be really fun to actually decorate it for real. I also ordered a little basket for our TV box to go in so it will be hidden. So I have to leave that up just because the TV won't function without it, but it will go in a basket eventually. It just hasn't gotten here yet. Taking all this off, we'll start over. this this season as well from Target and I really like it because the pot is wood so Rowan can pull it down and mess with it and it's not gonna break. Also just found our autumn pillow which I love and I feel like this throw blanket and the blanket ladder fit the autumn vibe pretty well too. Flowers aren't necessarily like autumnal but I feel like dry flowers in general have kind of a fall and winter vibe to them. I got these at a Pike Place Market. <laughs> Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, so oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing. Do you guys remember I did this flower basket DIY a while back with the idea that I could change it out for the seasons? So I'm gonna take it down and put some new fall florals in here. Okay, I'm gonna pull out everything that's already stuck in here. Very spring and summer. And here are the new ones that I got from Joann's. I'm gonna start with these big ones because you always start with your focal blooms. I'm doing mostly neutrals for fall. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> this is a nice little like it's halfway in between a neutral and a pop of color. And I'm thinking I'll round everything out with these pretty faux eucalyptus stems that I got. Ooh, I have one more thing too. I love the idea of having these like this basket to be seasonal because in the winter I can put like hydrangeas in it. Not hydrangeas. What am I thinking of? You know what I'm points at us. And then these are my favorite. I think it's supposed to be a still bee, but look how stinking pretty that is. I almost don't even want to untie it from its little thing. I like to add in some small like texture pieces into my arrangements. Ooh, wow, that's, that's messy. Oh my God, it's everywhere. Ta-da, let's go hang it up on the door. worth it. I used almost all of our decorations downstairs, so I might have to go shopping for some more because we moved from an apartment that was like less than a third of the size of this house. But I do want to add some coziness upstairs, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clothing rack and take my summer clothes off of it and put my fall capsule wardrobe up here just to bring some like autumn-y colors and textures into the room. I think that'll be nice. Obviously this outfit that I'm wearing right now will go on there too. I think the plaid of 
the pants will really help kind of with the color palette, just bring everything together. But this already looks so cozy. I'll keep messing with it too as I figure out what I'm gonna be wearing. And I am, by the way, going to do the fall outfits video. I heard ya, so that will be coming soon. So that's gonna be it for this fall decorate with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it brought you all the cozy vibes and helped get you ready for fall. The end of summer is always kind of bittersweet, but fall is one of my favorite seasons and I am ready. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wishing you a super happy day and a really great fall season and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!